Hi everyone, STF Field Manager Jake Henry here, and I'm making another video today on one of my favorite ornamental trees here in Savannah, and that is the Eastern Redbud, or Cercis canadensis. Uh, this is a super cool native tree species, uh, most notably known for its beautiful flowers. Uh, it's, it's a very small tree, so you can see here, these three are growing multi-stemmed. They typically do that, or if they're single-stemmed, they usually don't get more than 20, maybe 30 feet tall maximum. So if you're looking for a nice small ornamental tree to fit like a courtyard or near a home, this is a really good option. Now, there are actually quite a few cultivars of this tree species as well. Uh, some with different colored flowers. Uh, usually they're in the pink to purple to lavender range. Uh, there's actually even cultivars that have white flowers, which are really interesting. Uh, and some of them have different leaf characteristics as well. So some of them have a really interesting gradient of dark to light green. Uh, some of them even have a deep purple color. Uh, there are actually a few cultivars that do that. Uh, so there's some really interesting options out there and you don't typically find that with a lot of native species. So it's really cool to have that available to us, especially because it's a native tree. Uh, and let's see if we can catch one of these bees over here. Also great for pollinators, if that's something you're looking for. We have a fantastic example right there. And one of the cool things, as you can tell here, is that these flower before they start producing leaves in the spring. So some trees flower afterwards, after they produce leaves. A good example is the crepe myrtle. Those flower in the summer when they already have leaves. Uh, another beautiful tree species, but I really like it when trees flower before they get their leaves. It's just a brilliant pop of color and you get that really bright spring pink uh, with these eastern red buds. So outside of the springtime, eastern red buds aren't a particularly notable tree species. Uh, they are deciduous, so in the winter they don't have any leaves, they just kind of look like some sticks. Uh, and in the summer they have sort of heart-shaped leaves, these nice uh, small leaves. And as I said, they can be green light green to even a sort of dark purple color uh, but really their value is here in the spring and again it's not just the ornamental qualities they're great for pollinators they do provide some shade and as we mentioned in many of our other videos right tree right place a lot of places are not appropriate for large trees like our live oaks or sweet gums sometimes we only have a little bit of space and these eastern red buds are a great fit for tiny areas like that. So again, one of my favorite ornamental trees, just absolutely beautiful. And let's get a close up on some of these flowers. You can see really interesting, very tightly packed too. You can see lots and lots of flowers in a very small space. So you get this really cool dense cluster of color and it's not quite as spread out as other trees like dogwoods or cherry trees. Again, they do grow multi-stemmed in many areas. Um, you can train them to be single-stemmed. It just takes a little bit more work. Uh, but either way is fine because, again, they don't get very large. So you can kind of utilize either way. Beautiful flowers on them. All right, thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.